I'm here at the Whipple Observatory outside Amato. Behind me is a gamma ray telescope. This is one of only three places in the world where they have them. This week, the observatory is ready to unveil a new way for the community to learn about our universe. In 2018, Amy had big plans for the Science Center. I really wanted to rethink how we were sharing our science and the broader science of the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory with the community. She hit a roadblock in 2020. We started designing a whole new museum experience, and when the pandemic hit, that just put everything on hold. Until this week, when the Science Center reopens. We've changed a lot. There are more hands-on exhibits, science demonstrations, and opportunities to do science experiments. Like Veritas. Veritas is the world's most powerful gamma ray observatory. Used to study the mysteries of the universe. Are supermassive black holes, supernova remnants, which are the leftovers of an exploded star. <laughs> or the MMT Observatory. It's the 14th largest telescope in the world and the third largest telescope in the continental United States. But it isn't just for astronomers. Because we're located in a rural community, that really helps us think about how we want to reach out to people who don't necessarily have access to big museums and big resources. The Whipple Observatory Science Center opens to the public on Friday, October 4th. Public tours of the MMT Observatory are also expected to begin sometime in 2025. Reporting from Amato, Joel Foster, KGUN 9.